YouTube has been cease and desisting every single Discord music bot, and in fact, our beloved Discord bot, Me6, has also been hit by YouTube's legal team. Are we completely doomed? No, because you can actually have a Discord music bot that plays YouTube by just hosting it yourself, so I'm going to show you how to do that. Anyways, we're going to be using Jagrosh's music bot, and all you want to do is just look at the most recent version, so the one that says latest, scroll down, and just click on this .jar file, and we are going to download it. Now, since we're using a .jar file, we are using Java, so that means we need to install Java if you haven't already. So the second link in the description, you will see Adoptium, and we just need to search for Java. Now we're going to go on operating system, and if you have Mac OS, Linux, do all that stuff. I'm on a Windows computer, so I'm going to do Windows. Architecture, make sure you set it as x86. And for package type, if you're not developing anything in Java, then you can just change this to JRE, which is Java Runtime Environment. It's a smaller download, which is good for me, and I'm just going to click on the .msi download button. And uh, since we downloaded it, I might as well install it. So click on open JDK, whatever the download thing is. Now it'll pull up with this install wizard. <laughs> oh, you already know what to do. Click next, then click next and click install. <laughs> it's that easy. Anyways, once it's done, just click on finish. Now, after we download Java and install it, what we want to do is we want to go to our downloads folder. We want to right click on J Music Bot, click cut. Then we need to go to our documents. Now, I don't know why we need to, but it's very important that you do this. So please do it. Go to your documents and create a new folder and just call it Music Bot or something. Then once you create that folder, you want to open it up and you just want to right click and paste in this new jar file. Then what we want to do is we also want to right click new and we need to create a new text document and we need to call it config. So C-O-N-F-I-G. Now we need to fill this config file up with a configuration. And since we're lazy, we're just going to use the one provided by the person who made this music bot. So go to the third link in the description and you will see this example config. This is how it looks like when you zoom out. But I'm zooming in because what we need to do is we just need to go to this little text box thing. Go to the top right hand corner. It says copy to clipboard click on that bad boy and you already know what's happening next. Go back to your documents folder. So documents music bot, open up that config.txt file. Guess what we're doing? Right click, paste in all that code and kaboom. We now have a massive config file. Now we actually need to get our discord bot token, which is very important. So that's why what you're going to do is you are going to go to the fourth link in the description. I know a lot of links, but you want to go to the fourth one and it will be this discord developer portal. You may need to log in. Then we need to click new application and we're going to call this application something really obvious, not evil me six, just to uh, enact my personal vendetta against me six. And once you create your bot's name, then just click on by creating, create, blah, blah, blah. You agree to discord developer terms of service. To be honest, this breaks the terms of service, but discord barely moderates their bots anyways, because there's so many verified scam bots that I'm literally so irritated. I'm probably going to make a video on it. Anyways, enough ranting. Just don't worry about it. Click create. Now, once you do that bad boy, click on bot on the left and we need to add a bot and it's going to say all this crap. Just yes, do it. I don't care. And I need to enter a two factor authentication code because my discord account is like Fort Knox and it's impossible to get into. So when you make your bot, what you want to do is you might not see your token here, but what you want to do is you want to click on copy. Then we need to go back to that little notepad page, right? I'm going to zoom in a little bit so things are easier to see, but you should see at the very top there's token equals bot token here and you want to paste in your bots token. Now one important thing is that your discord bot token is very private. You should not be sharing your config file with anyone because it contains your discord bot token which can be used to log into your discord bot and do a whole bunch of bad things. So keep this thing private. So while we're here we might as well do a couple more things with the bot. So go back to the discord developer portal and what we need to do is we need to disable public bot. That's because this bot isn't made to be like the next new verified discord music bot. It's meant to be used on like one or two servers. It should be a private bot. And when you disable public bot, only you can invite the Discord bot to other servers. And also this is good to do because you don't want YouTube's legal team knocking at your door. But anyways, scroll down and we need to enable server members intent and also message content intent. And once we do that, we can just click save changes. And now we are done with the Discord developer portal and we need to go back to that little notepad file and we need to scroll down because we need to set the owner of the Discord bot. And to do that, we need to paste in the user ID of your Discord account. So to do that, you want to go into Discord. This is really easy. Just mention yourself in any chat. Then once you mention yourself, just go to the start of the message. Then you want to press this weird slash thing that's above your enter key. It's basically this character here. And once you do that, just press enter and it should show you a message that has like these angled brackets at sign and then this number here. This is your Discord ID. If you have Discord developer mode enabled, you can also just right click and copy ID on your name. But we want to copy this number. Then we need to go back to our notepad and we just need to paste it into this owner thing. So remove the zero, 
paste it in with Control V or just right click and click paste. And once we do that, we need to scroll down because now we're setting the prefix of the bot. Now the prefix is basically how we call commands to the bot. So right now we need to mention the bot and tell it to like play a song. That's really annoying. So we're just going to change it to two exclamation marks. So basically, if you want to use the play command, then you would do two exclamation marks and then type in play. Now I'm going to keep scrolling down. There are a couple other options that we can go through. These aren't essential. So I'll have little chapters that you can skip ahead. But these are a couple of advanced features that you might like. Um, if you scroll down and you see song and status, if you only have your Discord bot on one server, if you turn this to true, it will actually show what song is playing in the bot status, which is pretty cool. I'm going to enable it to true because I'm only going to use this bot on one server. Now there's this option here, NP images. And if you wanted to show the YouTube thumbnail of the song that you're playing, then you can set this to true. I'm just going to do it because I'll show you when I use the bot how it looks. So if you set stay in channel to true, it will just stay in your channel even if no music is playing. It's up to you if you want to have that true or false. It's usually better if you have it as false so that when the music is done, the bot gets out of your voice call and you won't have to worry about bandwidth. And if we scroll down, there's one final thing that I just want to point out because I find this stuff useful. That's why I'm telling you. But we now have aliases, but we can call the same command with like different exclamation mark things. So as you can see from this example up here, instead of typing exclamation mark, exclamation mark, play, we can just do exclamation mark, exclamation mark, P if we have the alias set as P from this comment. So I'm actually going to do that. So I'm going to scroll down. You will see aliases, then slash slash music commands, play. I'm just going to type in space, P space. Now, if I ever want to do play, all I need to do is just exclamation mark, exclamation mark, P instead of typing out exclamation mark, exclamation mark, play. And you can do this for every single command that you want. And that's the end of the config file. And once you're done, make sure to click file, save just so we save the config file and from here on out it's actually extremely easy on what we're going to do we're going to go back to our file explorer and we're in the documents music bot folder and we're just going to double click on musicbot.jar and when we do that a console will pop up and as you can see jda login successful websocket client connected to websocket jda finish loading now in most cases the console here should show you a link that you can click on and that will allow you to invite the bot to your server but i'm going to assume everything went wrong in your life just like mine and i'm going to to show you how to do it manually and to do so we need to go back to the discord developer portal and we need to make sure that we're on our not evil me 6 music bot and i forgot to change the image to my favorite bot icon but anyways we need to click on oauth2 then we need to go to url generator and we need to look for bot and we need to click on that and once we do that we just need to scroll down and click on copy then we just want to paste this little url into our browser so paste that bad boy in you should see that you now have your not evil me 6 bot and we just need to add it to our server so i'm just going to add it to my link server and click on authorize and click i am human and there we go it's been authorized and if i go to my server now you should see not evil me six and i can type exclamation mark exclamation mark help and it will respond with hopefully it's going to respond there we go it took a little bit. There's a little bit of a delay, right? But not evil me six is now showing me all the commands I can use. Now, of course, to use the bot, you can just go through the commands and that help command I showed you. So there's a whole bunch of different commands you can use. It's really straightforward, but I'm just going to show you the bare minimum. Basically, exclamation mark, exclamation mark, search allows you to search for whatever thing on YouTube. I'm going to search no text to speech. I heard he's a he's kind of a loser and has a really crap voice. So I need to be in a voice channel, of course. Gosh, now I'm in a voice channel talking to myself. I'm going to mute myself so I don't get tripped out by those green lights and I'm just going to copy the same command because I'm too lazy to type it out it's been a rough day you know and kaboom now the bots joining and you can see whoa only one of these are my videos the rest are Roblox cringe anyways I'm gonna click on four and now it's added Discord. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I got a whole bunch oh of weird God. little disc. That's my voice, boys. Anyways, as you can tell, it was playing my video. And if I do exclamation mark, exclamation mark, NP, or now playing, then you'll be able to see, whoa, Discord's weird bugs and Easter eggs. And that's the thumbnail I made. Now, there's one very important thing that I need to point out. And it's that this little J music bot jar thing that opened up, you need to keep that running because that is the bot. You are hosting the bot on your own computer. And just to show you that, right, I'm just going to close the bot and you're going to see how catastrophic this is. It went offline. My life's over. And that's because once again, the computer is hosting the bot. You are hosting your own bot. So that means when the bot's offline, you need to go to your files, 
documents, music bot, double click on the jar file, it will turn back on, and kaboom! Now we have Not Evil Me 6 playing whatever it wants to play. Now, I'm in your head right now because I already know your next question. How do I keep this little rapscallion online 24-7? And here's the thing, it's, it's gonna cost you money because you might have heard of stuff like Heroku, Glitch, and Replit, this will be the fifth link in the description by the way, and all those are free hosting platforms that a lot of people use for basic Discord bots. But music bots use a lot of resources, and as you can tell from this wiki, every single one of these has usage limits and poor performance. So you're going to be listening to your favorite Britney Spears album for like three seconds, then it's going to lag for three seconds, and then you get three more seconds of Britney Spears, hit me baby one more, oh, 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 it stopped there. Time! <laughs> it's, it's just a complete mess. And I'm sorry for my awful singing, but I mean, I've been through this whole programming thing. I've I banged my head against the desk. This stuff isn't easy, if I'm going to be honest, because there are suggested services like OVH, DigitalOcean, Google Cloud, and Amazon Web Services. Services. Those either cost money or you need a credit card to get a free trial. And even if you get all that stuff, you need to go through the whole bunch of crazy setup stuff. Half of this stuff makes no sense to me, uh, if I'm going to be honest. But if you're watching a, a YouTube tutorial on how to get a Discord music bot, then chances are all this stuff is like enchanting table language and you have no idea what's going on. Now, I did find one service, Pebblehost, where they have like $3 a month where you can get kind of pre made, pre installed Discord bots, and there is the Jagrosh music bot there. So you can do that. But once once again, it costs money. So for me personally, I'm one of those cheap guys. I don't like paying money, so I'm just going to host it on my computer. So every time I'm going to open up my little documents, music bot, open up the jar file, and now I can listen to Britney Spears and not sing the rest of it because I'm going to get copyright striked because I'm just too dang good at singing. But anyways, chances are there will be some people in the comments that will have like super cool ways to set up hosting and it'll be something I've never heard of before. So it might be worth looking through there. Anyways, I think this is the end of the video because uh, I I gotta listen to Britney Spears now. Gosh, I mean, why do I have to explain myself? Anyways, bye-bye, sweetheart. I love you. Mwah. Mwah.